come into the realm what your house, the place of your strength signify. I am asking for great mercy to help me, help us today to see, help us with, we don't have qualification, we just ask for mercy, we need help, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Shout hallelujah. I want to welcome some people with us today. Sister Book, Pastor Bookie Smith is here. You're welcome, my dear. And uh, let me just, let's appreciate her for us. <laughs> Hallelujah. And of course, uh, Pastor Clay, senior sister, I've not seen her for some time. You're welcome, my dear sister. You're welcome. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'm just talking about people who have not seen. So if I don't call you, it means you've been where we've been seeing each other for a while. A shout hallelujah. It's a greet somebody, greet somebody next to you. Say so you're welcome, you're welcome. Hallelujah. I'm glad to be with you. Hallelujah. Um, let's see. We found it. Hallelujah. Verse 6. Lo, we have, we have we heard of it in a prata. Uh, a, pra- a prata is Bethlehem, hallelujah, uh, where Jesus was born. A prata is the little province in Judah, very insignificant, I guess. Everybody shout hallelujah, so insignificant, and very ins- though it's significant, but uh, it's so important to God. And that is when the Messiah will be born, and at the same time, uh, it's not just only the birth physically of Messiah, but uh, God has chosen the place of the field, the place of the woods, to rest in there. Hallelujah. We will go into his tabernacles. We will worship at his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest. Arise, come into your rest. You and the hack of your strength. Hallelujah. Let thy priest be clothed with righteousness. Let thy sin shout for joy. For thy servant David's sake, turn not away thy face of thine anointed. Don't turn the face away of the anointed. The Lord hath sworn unto David. He will not turn from it, for of the fruit of his body will I set upon thy throne. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Amen. I will set upon thy throne, and if thy children will keep thy covenant, or my covenant, my testimony, that I shall teach them, their children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. So, of course, we can see uh, the throne of God in verse 8. That is the throne of God. The throne of God is the ark of God. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou and the ark of thy strength. Shout hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, David loved something. David wanted the ark. David wanted God's presence. Not so. The cupboard tool was the ark. There is no way glory can rest in the house without the hack of thy strength. Shout hallelujah. Everybody say hey, amen. amen. All of you must shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Now in the Old Testament, the ark was made of sheeting wood. Say it again. The hack was made of sheeting wood. The hack was made of sheeting wood. And it signifies something. Amen. Not so, sir. It signifies something. Not so. It does signify something. Praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah, but overlaid with gold. Now, I love the word sheeting wood, not raw wood. Raw wood are trees. Sheeting wood, the wood that the heart constituted was taken from three that was living and was walked upon, processed, fine, beautified, 
walked on. Hallelujah. Then overlaid with gold. Amen. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I perceive somewhere maybe God was prophesying to us that my intention is to dwell in humanity. That will be processed. Trees are okay, but wood goes further than just mere trees. You can't use raw tree for furniture, not so. You have to work on it. You can't rest at home with raw trees. You work on it, you beautify it, you polish it. Not so. And people will admire it. The trees must be dead. Hallelujah. Before it can serve as a furniture, this, the trees no longer have response. Every characteristics of living thing in that tree has been numbed. They file it. They, they, the owner of it walked on it. And takes all manner of things, I listen to me, that the user desire upon it. So the trees, so a, a furniture means minute it that it's, a, it's actually a, a, a product that has no say, it's lost wheel. So it means it's, it's a tree, it's a living thing that has given up strength. Another word, can I go ahead and say, if you leave it in the field, it will still be growing and bearing fruit and showing its characteristics. But if it's turned into a furniture, it no longer does that. It's past what, sir? It has reached its dead end. You can't be yourself if you want God to use you. Before you can be what is called the master's use, you must have actually come into a place where fruit shown according to your order is dead in. Is that clear? I might be understood today. Everybody shout hallelujah. Uh, a whole lot of people still have something to give. Amen. But no humanity can come into divinity with humanity. You can't cross. No matter how beautiful you are, how flawless you are, the distance between God and man, who can tell me what is the distance? Eternity. All of you are not saying it. Shout it again. That is true, but that's not my answer. The distant is true. I'm not saying it's not true. My answer is that the distant is death. The distance is simple. What is it, sir? Death. Yes, it's death. Shout hallelujah. It's clear. This is wisdom. Hear me. This is wisdom. This is wisdom. God created everything for his good, for his own pleasure. But not everything will respond at the pleasure that he desires. The ultimate, when say perfect pleasure. Nobody comes into perfect will. Remaining the element, God made he or she. <laughs> no creature, no creature. Except the creature is gone completely. So, the people who have entered into the perfect will of God, they are no longer useful to themselves. They only responding to the high calling of God. Now, Jesus couldn't enter into the high calling. He was still Jesus. They are, you know they were decking with glories while he was on earth. Wow, my son and woman, I am well pleased. But Jesus never had rest. Rest means fulfilled. 
So it's clear. My soul cry was made for one thing. Everybody shout hallelujah. Every soul. Everybody share with him. Say every soul. Had something in it. And what is in the soul is I must die. All of us will know where we are going. The way you know. Jesus said to him, show us the way. He said, you know the way. And that is why when the way is open, we run. From afar, you, we can tell the way. We can interpret it. Just a scratch of the way. We know what he's saying. Then we shy away from the way and we go our own way. The way you know. In our soul is a written code we came with. Because this is the light that lighted every man that cometh into the world. We came with it. Let me tell you, everybody on the street knows. My wife in Austria was discussing with her. She went into the gym and found a man, Jimmy, and he was in, from Australia, but a white man. And she began to talk to her, him. They engaged. And then the issue of God's got discussion came. And he began to defend himself. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in all that. Other. My wife said, ah, if you are missing, <laughs> he's not telling him, repent, you will die. You are missing. Hey, God is sweet. Eh? Because to them, God is not sweet. And then do you know his trouble? He said, he doesn't want to be submitted to, submissive to anybody telling him what to do, what not what to do. What, that is their problem. You want to fornicate if you tell them, don't, nobody can tell me what to do. You want to, you want to do what you like, nobody can tell me what not to do. You want to do that one, nobody can tell me what to uh, You know what to do. All of us, we know what to, what's, uh, what, do you, what you are supposed to do, do it quickly. Don't waste time. Everybody shout hallelujah. You know what you should do. Don't waste time in what you are supposed to do. They know, everybody know what they are supposed to do. They are only fighting conscience. What is written is written. Is there, is there? Everybody, they, they wrote it there. Bagada, when they are coming from heaven. What is the purpose of light? Lightning every man that cometh into the world. Is a spiritual laser writing. Pam! It's a stamp. It tattooed everything inside. A baby that is born. Let him just grow. That letter inside him grows with him. And that's the thing that makes people get born again. When the preacher preached, God knows what he is preaching to. Wow. He put things in there. Okay. Am I communicating to you? Say amen. amen. I, I, I'm not lying to you. Say amen. amen. Every head's full of man, head's man, killing people they know. Boom! As they are killing something, you tell them, you're a killer. You are killing your conscience. You are a killer. They judge every man's heart. You can hide under Islam and kill. Your conscience will tell you. Your conscience is not Islam. You came from heaven from it. It's not a Muslim. No soul is a Muslim. Muslim is just mind. It can be renewed. So is Christianity. You can wipe it out. God is not about religion. He is life. I'm not afraid of Buddhist. Oh, Bantala worshiper. He's just my Baba. is a lie. Let light come. The person will show his true column. What is inside can never be deleted. Do you agree with me? Everybody shout hallelujah. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, my dear. God bless you. Open your Bible to that place. Find it in the fields of the wood. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Let's see verse 7. 
Uh, hallelujah. We will go into his tabernacle to worship at his footstool. So the next one is what we are arise. This is the time for you, O oh Lord, to arise. Enter into thy rest. You shall enter into thy rest. They found it in the fields of the wood. They found it in the fields of the wood. Not so. If it is in the fields of the wood, then it's clear. It's from the wood they fetch from the from the trees they fetch wood to construct the ark. Amen. Amen. Do you like it? Can, do you have sight at all? Say I have sight. I have sight. Thank you, my daughter, for that tongue. Say I have sight. I have sight. Say it again. What is the meaning of that? Can I say something? This was where Jesus was born. Ephrata. That was where the word was made flesh. And that was the ark of God. The ark was born in Ephrata's. Let's see verse 9. This is the time for your priest to be clothed with righteousness. Then your saints will shout for joy. Your priest, let them be clothed with what? Shout it again. Say it again. Shout it again. What will happen to your saints? This is the first joy. This is the first joy. Amen. This is the first joy. The first joy is righteousness. The last joy is salvation. Not so. Which verse is that one? Who can help me? Student of the Bible. That thank you. God bless you. I will also clothe her priest with salvation. Hmm? And then what will happen to her? What will happen to them? A saint shall shout what, sir? Now, let's, let's go back. So, you see, the gold, look at me, the, old, the gold material, it's salvation. The gold material is salvation. Gold is salvation. See, you make the person everlasting. So that furniture will maintain its state eternally. So covering me with divine nature in and out. Open to Psalm 45. May we be clothed with divine nature. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Mommy, you are looking so pretty. Ever young. Hallelujah. Everyone say we love her. God bless you, man. God bless you. Shout, shout hallelujah. We give praise to God. Ah, my heart is inviting a good matter. I speak of the things which thou art, which I have made touching the, the king. My tongue is a pen of a writer writer. Let's see verse 5. Amen. Oh my God. Let's see verse 4. If I'm correct. Okay. Sorry, please. Let's see verse 7. Thou lovest righteousness, hated wickedness. God, thy God, hath anointed thee with a oil of gladness above thy fellows. Shout hallelujah. Thy garment spell of myrrh, hallows, cuts here out of ivory palaces, whereby they have made thee glad. They made you glad. Now let's say, king's daughters were among thy honorable women. Shout hallelujah. At thy right hand, this stand. Now we have honorable women. Do you see that, sir? Do you see that? Yes, sir. We have what, sir? Women. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. But the king's daughters were among them. The king's daughters were among thy honorable women. The king's daughters were among thy honorable women. Shout hallelujah. 
upon thy right hand they stand the queen. Now, she is no longer just the king's daughter. I love the word daughter. Look at me. Say daughter. Say it again, every one of you. Realm of honor. Say it again. Shout it again. Uh, in realm of honor are men and women who have the covenant of the Lord Almighty. The covenant of the Lord Almighty is the covenant of fatherhood. I will be to them a father. That's a king's daughter. That's a father. So we can see that the covenant of the I hope you're listening. You've been hearing and hearing most of So you should be professors by now. Everybody shout hallelujah. King's daughters were among the honorable women. Upon the right hand, they stand the queen in Ophigo. Shout hallelujah. Everybody say amen. amen. Pastor Tan, today I discovered the word Ophri. Hmm? Say Ophi. Oh, you call it offer. My wife says, offer. Amen. So, okay. Oh, I call it. Okay, maybe it's offer, not offering. Not so. Yes, like somebody said, you know, filthy lucre. Somebody said, lucre. You know, Shout out. Shout out. Amen. Praise the Lord. This, this English, you know, we have a far language, but we are trying. Shout hallelujah. We have a lot of English people here. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The day I discover Ofri, the place Ofri is, or Ofa, or Ofu, or everything. Yeah. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. I was angry. I was angry. The Arabian world. <laughs> it is also Ofri is the realm of the Islamic realm. You know what I mean? Ay, God, why? Come on. This is my biblical language. <laughs> why should it be in Islam <laughs> dimension? It's one of the Arab places that all free is. I still there. But I don't hate anyone. When something's happened to you, hate is still inside you. They need to claim it. It's not easy. But thank God for the commandment of love. Ma, ma, ma. Everyone say gold. gold. Daughter. Say daughters. Hallelujah. Are we bless. So I said the king's daughters were among thy honorable women. So God's honorable women are sons and daughters. But my people are higher than sons and daughters. That is the promise. So the queen's daughter is actually a people. The queen, it's actually a people. The daughters are what, sir? They are sons and daughters. Shout hallelujah. Is that clear? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Open to, oh, someone say, Reverend, where are we quoting from? Let me, okay, let's open the place. Some of you are already smiling. Thank God. Open the place. Second Corinthians chapter 6. Praise God. Shout Hallelujah. Let's see the verses before. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to be gentle. God wants you to be taught. Uh, so I won't push it. And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? So the temple to be God's own temple. Hallelujah. It's a promise. Yes, sir. You discover that they say we are God's temple. But we aren't yet. God is not inside you. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's just Holy Ghost that is there. Yes, they say you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Hmm. Somewhere. They say your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. At most, for now, I'm too sure. Some of you, Christ is already dwelling in you. So you are Christ's temple. So the last promise is to be God's temple. But I start 
with the temple, being a temple of the Holy Spirit. Shout hallelujah. So I have to obey the Holy Ghost for me to be Christ's temple. So it's talking to the Corinthians church. It's high time for you to separate yourself from, or you break your agreement with idols. Hmm. Break your agreement. The agreement we have drawn with idols, break it. If not, you can't house God. Now, uh, idols may not, housing idols may not clearly look like sin until God comes. Why? You discover that the demand that God requires, you won't be able to do it because of attachment with idols. So, idols are position for to resist God. Somebody position idols for to resist God. So, as God had said, this is God's promise, had said, I will, God has promised, I will dwell within them and walk in them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. This is the, the promise. This is the promise. But there are other promises. This promise to come to pass, we are for, hmm? we are for, because of what I have said, because of what has been said, or because of this promise, we are for now, now start from the first. Come out from among them. Then, you can't break agreement. This is how you start breaking agreement. Come out from among them. Be ye separate. Come out from among them. Be ye separate. Touch not the unclean thing. Be ye separate, saith the Lord. Another saith Cain. After be ye separate. That's the first promise. That's the first promise. Then the next one. And touch not the unclean thing. I will receive you. I will receive you. That's the, when you no longer touch the unclean thing, then I can receive you. I won't receive you as long as you have a uh, touch within the unclean thing. Hallelujah. The unclean thing. Don't touch it. Now, why not things? Thing. There's one thing called the unclean thing. It's an unclean Clean thing. Something is unclean and is a thing. Touch not your clean thing. It means this is a very high obedience. Everybody is touching the unclean thing. But God said, No, touch not the unclean thing. You're drawing closer. Even though I am separate, I can still be. Touching the unclean thing. So the unclean thing is still higher than my separation. Yes, sir. Unclean thing has gone beyond the separated state. Yes, sir. So the unclean thing is not in the same place where I'm separate from. Even though I have had say of the Lord, I need another say it. Higher than the unclean thing. What is it, sir? Touch not the unclean and I will receive you. Let's see what will happen. I will be a father unto you and you shall be my sons and daughter, saith the Lord. He had dead from Lord. He had dead almighty. From Lord, Lord almighty. <laughs> so it's clear. Uh, a father, this is scripture. A father is Lord Almighty. That's the father. Is that clear? Who is a father? Now, it's not necessarily a begatter, but a trainer. One whom you submit to.
to to bring you to the hand. The one who, that's who Jesus is for us. Everybody shout hallelujah. Jesus is our father. He is the Lord almighty. So he's the one who prepares us to connect us to God. Shout hallelujah. Is that clear? Can we say hey, amen? amen? You must say hey, amen. amen. You must say hey, amen. amen. Now I will be a father unto you and you shall be my sons and wusa. Shout hallelujah. So you can see when scripture mentioned daughter in scripture, in Psalm, calling some people daughters. Amen, amen, amen. When he says sons and daughters, he's not talking about, uh, what's it called, sir? Gender. They are manifestation in the spirit. Now, a daughter means a bride that is being prepared, that is of age, but yet not ready for marriage. Oh. That's a daughter. And it's also a son. All of you. You are both a son, everyone here. You are both a male and female in the spirit. Your soul manifests that. You're a son and you can marry <laughs> in the spirit. That's why we will be bride to Jesus. Not so, sir. Do you agree with me? Everyone say, my sons. All of you must say that, please, sir. And who again? You'll be both my sons and who? My daughter. Say, my daughters. Now, I will tell you something. The word sonship, everyone say sonship. All of you shout it again. It's a common nature for those who are commas. So you can see sons in all dimension. Outer court sons are there. Holy place, you find some kind of sons. Now, but by the time you get to a holy place, you are a son that can marry. You have become a daughter. <laughs> who, is, who can be an heir with someone? Who is her husband? That's Jesus. It's a joint heir. Air with Christ. Then the last, so of course, can you tell me which one is the first covenant? The, the, the real promise. What is the real promise? My people. So what do we have? We have the separate. Then we have who? Sons and daughters. Then we have who? My people. The first one, separate, which is Lord. The Lord is the one saying it. That is the Lord. The second one, Lord Almighty. Then the last one, God. These are not ordinary names. These are not ordinary names. Can we say hey, amen? Can you resolve that with me? I hope it's not confusing. First one is Lord, which makes me separate. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Then the next one. What is it, sir? Then the last one. God. Can we say God? God. So all these promises must be complete in you. But you must be hearing all of them are speakers. They speak. These are different manifestations of God to us, to bring us in. This is now how many stages did I just mention that I made? This is what is called the ordinance. This is the ordinance of divine service. This is the order of response. Service means giving yourself. Not so, sir. Giving yourself. You must give yourself to the Lord. 
After you have given yourself to the Lord, then the Lord will say, no, I'm not just Lord, I'm also Lord Almighty. And there are demands to, for me, to you, for you to become what? My sons and daughter, and for I to be your Lord Almighty. And he said, ah, thank God I'm a son and daughter. He said, no, he's not yet finished. There's also a demand to become a people. Then I can now become who? Your God. Is that clear? All of you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's go back to the book of Psalm 45. So on the, at the right hand, shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. King's daughters were among thy honorable women upon thy right hand. This time the queen in gold of offer. Hallelujah. Uh, gold. The queen stood in gold. This is the one that is no longer just a daughter. Is a queen. It's, she, it's a people. Let's see verse 10. A king, oh daughter, she's daughter, consider and incline thy ear, forget all thy own people and thy father's house. He said you should forget them. So, this daughter, who is he? This is the queen that can take the instruction. Even though you are son and daughter, but now this is your commandment. Forget your people because you are about to be a people. Shout hallelujah. And where you came from, your father's house. Hey, Amen. Because you're about to be absorbed yes. into a place where what's uh, your people, peopleship will be swapped mm. to him yes. who is your God. Yes. Let's see verse 11. Hallelujah. So shall the king greatly desire your beauty. It means your beauty, which is your glory, will not find expression. If you still keep the identity of your people and your father's house. So the beauty depends in letting go and complete eraser of your former identity to be fully in agreement with this your God. Then you can see why who is God? Hmm. God is jealous. And God wants a people who can take him. You can be another's people and then think he will be your God. He doesn't compromise people's sheep. It can only take a people to manifest. To take all the demands of God. Or God can't spread itself. I mean even sons and daughters. They can't, they can't take him. It will take a people to take him. People. God ordered of people, not God of Uzzah. Now, these people are not ordinary people. Let's see another thing, another place. Shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Let's see Revelation 22 quickly. We will soon be going. Tati 6.
of Ezekiel. Verse 27. I will put my spirit within you, cause you to walk in my status, and you shall keep my judgment and do them, and you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, I will be your God. Let's see Revelation 22, 21, verse 7. This the, when you hear the promise is one, this is it. This is the promise. What is the promise, son? This is the promise. The promise, but we have other ones. Before you can be here. Now, these things are prophetic codes. You have to read the New Testament to understand what this minute. You, you hear me? Sean, hallelujah. hallelujah. Can I go ahead, please? Verse 7, can we? One, two, go. Let's read that. Now, it is son, son, son in all the promises, but different kind of sons. Thank you so much. Can we say it again? Son, son, son. But what's a different kind of son? Shout hallelujah. So the last sonship is a people. So this, the son, the people. This is a people. Even if it's one, it's a people. If it's one son, it's a people. One son is a people. Shout hallelujah. Can we shout it again? Who is one son? So uh, one son even in one, it's many. Um, let's see who is a son. Let me, so you can have a, an understanding. Let's see, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not hearing you, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's see, for Ephesians chapter 4. This person that God is, is God. Ephesians 4. And uh, that we might come to the unity of the faith unto the knowledge of the Son of God. Two things fivefold ministry will do. It will bring people to the unity of the faith and then bring the, the children to the knowledge of the Son of God. Knowledge of the Son of God is higher than the faith, unity. So the two things, I call the one, I love the one, unity of the faith. Say it again. All of you must say it again. There is something about the faith. There is a unity of what, sir? Of the faith. They must attain what, sir? All of you are listening. Say unity of the faith. What is the unity of the faith? Meaning, if it is unity of the faith, it means that faith is not one. They are in threefold. They are in threefold. There is the perfect faith, which is charity. So they will teach it to produce a perfect man, not the perfect man. When they preach the unity of the faith, it's going to bring them, is it let's say, till will come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, comma, look at me. This is and then unto. Is it what these two we do? Is that they will bring us unto. Is it unto is two? <laughs> Are you getting me? It means unity of the faith will produce a perfect man. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So, two tools they will handle. Unity of the faith and what again? So, the knowledge of the fullness of 
the perfect man. So the fullness of the perfect man needs what is called the knowledge of the Son of God. That knowledge of the Son of God, shout hallelujah, is beyond the perfect man. The perfect man has a fullness. But there is a knowledge with which we, we will act into the perfect man. It's by the knowledge. That knowledge means knowing the fullness of the psalm. Christ dwelling in my heart by faith is a man. But there is another Christ. Are you getting me? There is another knowledge of Christ. It's called the love of Christ that passeth knowledge. But look at me. Knowing the, it means a knowledge that you might know the love of Christ that passeth knowledge. Learning what passeth knowledge. So in the realm of the spirit, there is a dimension that surpasses just knowledge. Say amen. amen. Say it again. Shout hallelujah. So when you learn that, where are you going to come into? You are going to come to the perfect man. There is a perfect man and there is the perfect man. Can we shout, shout it again? So a, the, the perfect man is the fullness of the son. So when you learn the love of God, a past set knowledge, then that ye might be filled. Oh, fullness of God. So what we'll be dealing with is fullness of God. So fullness of God person is a people. 